the Bonson Group founder, managing partner and CIO. David Bonson is joining me right now to talk markets and the economy. David, great to see you. Thanks very much for being here. Both former housing officials under Obama and Trump are slamming this unprecedented move, calling it socialism. What are your thoughts on this uh, new rule that the Biden administration is trying to push through? It's just profoundly bizarre that uh, those of us who understand economics to be driven by incentives would think that it's a good incentive to say that if you have good credit, manage your financials well, keep your affairs in order, pay your bills on time, keep your debt low, all the things that help someone have a good credit score, that then that will penalize you. And that effectively that means you're being rewarded to not have good credit. It's a subsidization of people who have poor credit by people with good credit. It's bad incentives, which means by definition, Maria, it's bad economics. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we went through this back in 2006, encouraging uh, bad credit uh, to take on more mortgages. And it certainly did not end well. But I want to get your take on the macro story right now after this week of earnings. David, how would you characterize what we've heard from corporate America uh, in terms of first quarter earnings? And we've got a big week coming up next week. What would you expect? Yeah, I've learned over the last 25 years that it's the second week of earnings season that tells me how it's going to go, not the first week. But in this first week, it was better than I expected. There are some great names from some consumer staples companies. Obviously, the big banks did better than many thought. So, so far, so good. But like you said, this week ahead, we're going to get a lot of earnings results. And I think most uh, companies are pretty much saying a similar tune Revenues are staying strong. They have pricing power. Margins are down a little. Guidance is about what people expected. No big surprises up or down. Do you think we're going to see a recession later this year? I do believe we'll end up seeing a mild recession. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes into Q1 of next year versus Q4 of this year. Uh, the markets have been, you know, stubbornly strong. And I say that as a good thing. I want strong financial markets. But Maria, credit hasn't really weakened that much. The consumers' uh, credit ratios are still pretty low, pretty reasonable. But the Fed is doing everything they can to try to hurt to try to damage. They seem to believe that people losing jobs and losing uh, credit worthiness is a good thing. I don't happen to agree with them on that. But that's why I think a mild recession is still on the table. But I don't believe we're going to see a severe recession. I think this is mostly limited in the job losses so Uh far, limited to technology, things like that. Kevin McCarthy, the House Speaker, is pushing to vote next week on his plan to increase the debt ceiling. Some demands in place to uh, put limits in place in terms of uh, in terms of spending. We're hearing not all Republicans are on board. Do you think the markets will sell off if he doesn't have the votes next week? Well, I don't think Speaker McCarthy will put it forward for a vote if he doesn't have the votes. I think if he puts it forward, we have to assume he has 218. And I don't think he's going to get much more than 218, 219. It's going to be very tight. But no, I don't think markets will sell off other than maybe a little bit of volatility the day of or day after, which is pretty immaterial. Ultimately, Maria, if the Republicans are going to have the leverage to force spending cuts, he has to pass a bill. That's what Speaker Boehner did in 2011. They passed their own bill that raised the debt ceiling with spending cuts, which then forced the hand of President Obama. That's what McCarthy has to do here to get the upper hand on the Biden administration. All right. We'll be watching a lot of potential market moving events next week. David, it's great to catch up with you. Thank you. Thanks, Maria.